We got a torque over here. Oh, what's up, man? What up? How are you, Cole? Good, man. See you, man. Hey. This is Eric. How are you doing? Drove all the way from San Antonio. Oh, shit. How you doing? Good, good. Good. What's up, bro? How you doing? Hey, you didn't, did you respond? Oh. I just want to see her coming out. Oh, it's BP time. It's BP time. I don't know when the last time that it rained out here. I felt like it hasn't rained in a week. Yet, this thing is ridiculously buddy. This is what we're working with. Now, we normally hit behind home plate anyways. And we've deduced that it must be from the sprinklers. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, we pitched from here. Fish laid up. <laughs> yeah, fish laid but, up. Uh, um, just kind of alternate, get loose. So I need to hit a line drive. Hey, wind's blowing out. That's a good thing. <laughs> there we go. You look great. There we go. Yeah, they're going to be good, man. I, uh, them. All right, my favorite is how the mic. Boy, what about them, Chief? There we go. And now, a little bit more that way. Yeah. Back foot? Oh, yeah, back foot right there. There you go. Body goes up, hands stay back. There you go. Yeah. Now you just gotta fight. You gotta fight the urge to dip to get to that ball. There it is. There it is. There we go. Come on, Cole. Those are great. Gotta get the wrist going. The greatest goal camp. Oh, right in the mud. Watch this. That, that was doo doo. Aquí la tiene. Side spin, not enough top hand. See how it is. It's either 40 or Put it in the chat, what is it? It's embarrassing. 50 feet? He's, hey, he thinks it's 48 and a half. I don't know. 20, 20, <laughs> get, at, some shit. get out of here, dude. Hit with a purpose. That's the goal every time here. Do I do it all the time? No. Should I? Yes. You know, sometimes it's okay. You just want to free up five here now. Go out and swing. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I like that low pitch. There it is. Go ahead, E. El que habla español ahora. Oh. Sí. <laughs> El mío no está tan bueno como antes, pero... Ah, tranquilo. Le tiro algo, pues... todavía me defiendo. <laughs> Ahí es. Ahí. Pero recuerde, trate de llevarme la bola para allá. Sí, pero... La... Y si no, si, si no es un strike, ¿la dejo ir o...? Sí, déjela ir. No, okay. aquí no estamos eh, esperando a nadie. Deje que la bola pase. Ahí. Acuérdese que para darle para allá, uh -huh. nada más tiene que esperar que la bola llegue un poco más para atrás. El swing suyo no cambia. Ahí. Así es de fácil. Lock in. Lock in. So, that's the good thing about softball is you hit it where they're not. I mean, yeah. On base percentage. Yeah, that. I think it's uh, Alpha Resbondo or Resbondo Alpha or something. Almost got to hit that one twice. That's what it feels like to get hit in the foot, Miz. Hey, Billy, well, wherever you're, you're at, it better be because of your daughter. Because if it's not, we find out it's not. You're dead. Looks like we might need a different pitcher. Eric's a pitcher. He's a pitcher. What are we doing here, Eric? <laughs> Golly. Yeah, he told me that. Now, I honestly letting Miss honestly, die back there. Yeah, I mean the distance might not be right. Who knows? Just get behind. Oh, the God, I'm dead. I'm a goner. I'm a goner. Oh my God. Oh, I'm. 
Yeah, just stay behind that net, E. How about to say, stay out of the middle. <laughs> and he's setting him up too. He's throwing a ball, <laughs> pushing one heavy. Ew. Tyler Irvine. Oh God. <laughs> My bad. God, grow up, Cole. This dude's a guest. I know. Our first guest Look at me. on here. He's throwing me 12 foot nuts. Yeah, he is. He's 12 foot, behind, inch behind the plate. <laughs> New segment on the show. Hard truths. Oh no. Softball player excuses. Oh. For what? I don't know, what do you hear? Softball player excuses. Well, if you're Mason Farmer, then Oh, my alarm didn't go off. <laughs> no, I, I set it for p.m., not a.m. Stayed up too late drinking. Hard that's, truth. It's a go-to. That happens. You know, and this one, I it, it messes with me because I, I like to, I like comfortable footing in a box, right? You get spoiled. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. as you move up in baseball, like, the boxes are pristine, and... You hop into a box like Myrtle Beach, right? Like that place. Great field, great facility. It's big fields, all turf, but the batter's box is dirt. And there's a couple where, yep. When and Seattle's bad about it, where there's a couple where when you get in the box, your back heel is that elevated. That back heel is elevated, and the only other option you would have is to get into the hole, which and you're six then, inches off the plate. Yeah, you're either six inches off the plate or six inches on the plate, or you're down in a hole like yep. four inches. And then that sucks because the umpire's usually not in a hole. Yes. So the balls are crossing Every, you. And look, and is that? A, but is that an excuse? I mean, I don't get in it. I go in front of it. I'll get closer to the pitcher. If I can get off the plate more without jeopardizing, I will. But sometimes I'll just, I'll even, I'll go to the back of the hole and almost try to use the back as like a drive off, right? Because. My biggest problem anyways is swinging at short pitches. I love to swing at short pitches, and I hit them well. Sometimes I do, sometimes yeah. I don't. But I would rather have that short pitch than put myself in a situation where I'm taking a pitch here and it's landing right behind well, the Well, but plate. I also like to push the ball more. There you so go. I'll take... So, I mean, I guess that would that's where you would get a bunch of different answers from guys. Hot take, Bohemian Rhapsody, greatest rock song of all time. Well, yeah. whoop. You hit. They're just, uh, they're just so good at that. Right! So Eli's really good at... Running down my... God bless America! <laughs> I saw it! <laughs> Are your fingers on top of each other's fingers? Like yes, he smashes hand? them down. Like he's trying to wedge them no, into the but peanut like your butter top jar. Hand, these were out and your finger was like that. It, it basically looks like you told him to put all five of your fingers into these rectangles and then grab a bat. Yeah. Got a little goat hoof hand right there. So, really good bat path. <laughs> not a lot of extra movement. And what that's going to get you is not a lot of miss hits. Good swing. Should, should I yeah. shag now or shag later? Mr. Great. Powers. <laughs> One million dollars. All right, you still throwing? <laughs> For now, backside. That way. Yes. <laughs> Talking so much. Call me Andy Purcell. Shit. Yeah. My best average is against that man. You hear that, Andy? He said his best average is against you. Not like Andy's watching our videos, but <laughs> if he were. Right now you're 0 for 2 in your last two at bats against me. 
Bring it on. Oh, for three, I had my that's, my. that's not. I had my middleman over. What the heck ever? That's a strike. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, you had to morph your body just to make contact. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going home. You know what made it even better? He had that stupid hat on. There you go. That was a good smooth swing. Great shot. You good with that? Good. Like Tyler mentions, is like anybody can come out here and BP and do good. And so we we practice our swing. I like to practice the like getting my focus where I need to. And you'll you'll notice you'll have a good BP session, and then if you don't think about it, you'll be like you'll look past that you got into the zone and that your focus was heightened. And that's why you had like yeah. five or ten good shots. That's how we like to make it competitive too, right? Like when Nino was here, man, that was one of the best BP sessions we've ever had. Yeah. We dialed in. Got a couple keys to my name tonight. <laughs> got news ones too. Foul ball, not a swing Yeah, well I'm not so easy. I'm not so easily struck. The next out. boss. Challenge accepted. The final boss. Just leading off an inning, and y'all been in some home run trouble, so. In a perfect world, it's in here. Good. Strike. Strike three, I'm out. <laughs> the first at bat, you got me on the first at bat. That's number three tonight, folks. Number three. Strike three, I'm out. <laughs> All right, not a good way to lead off an inning. All right, one out, right, one out boys. Oh, and I got my middle man, uh, I got him playing push for me. All right. I was running that way in real life. <laughs> there you go. Good I ball, actually watched ball. the ball. That was my problem. Wasn't watching it. That thing just. Good God. It's amazing what happens when you just watch it. Second and third, one out. Okay. And I got my middle man playing pool. As you should, and then you're feeding me inside, which you probably yep. would too. Which what he matter. Just, what he just did is honestly the best way to handle that. You know, you got your guys, you got everybody poolside there. You're looking to go right center. He's gonna hammer you in probably to start, unless he just knows you. So your goal is to really hope he misses in and you work to that 3-1 count, and so many guys will take that 3-1 pitch, that's middle-middle, that Cole just hit. Go after it. If you're hitting well, you're in a groove. That 3-1 is, if it's oh. a pitch you like to do that job with, like, go after it. Oh, I, like I said last time, I always prepare, like, for every pitch, I'm ready to hit it. Three I don't one, ever just let three one, one go. 3-1 in a tough situation, you should be expecting your pitch. And if it's anything else, you're taking. Because, let's be honest, you got two pitches you're gonna get, yeah. And the next one after you got a strike on you, now the pressure's is, on you. Is a lot, Every yeah, time is a you lot have worse. two strikes, the pressure's now on you. Um, something that I learned whenever I was getting fed that same situation, five man's over here, he's throwing me nothing but inside, and I'm thinking push, but in the game situation, I would try to swing too hard. Yeah roll it over that right holds to massive. like you got to stay back and stay smooth because well, what happens is when you go inside and he know and you're trying to work away already yeah what do you do you try to force yourself away pull your hands inside and that's when you end up hitting that 98 hopper to to the pitcher but you can't be concerned about how hard you hit it sometimes you're, you still want to yep. go through the middle of the ball so second and third one out 
Same middleman side. There it is. It's a good swing. Perfect. Can't execute it any better. When I'm trying to go home run and, and pull home run, I'm, I'm early. I gotta wait. I gotta, I gotta be okay with hitting the ball to center. Keep that front shoulder at me just a touch longer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what'd you say now? Keep your that front, was my front shoulder yeah. opening up. Yeah, just getting here, right? That's your biggest like problem, right? Is you want to plant and you rotate. I want you to plant, drive, drive, drive as we're rotating, right? We're trying to keep not open to yeah, not so, create separation yep. by moving my I upper always, half. Like, The best drill for that is, I love to like, so if you're flying open, right? Like it's, I don't know if it's right, but it was a remedy for me. So I would just always think if I'm flying open, I'm stacked and I like to like pull against the fence when I'm stacked. And then when I'm driving, I want to feel like I'm grabbing this fence and it feels like I'm just pulling everything's against it. And then we want like a rubber band effect, right? So like we're trying to, we're stacked, we're loading, we're driving. And I like to feel those hands, even if it's an exaggeration, let those hands pull as, and just get comfortable with letting your hands leave your body. Yeah, and that's that's where Billy would always tell me. It's like, you're stretching the rubber band. Yep. One big key though, like we stretch the rubber band, what we can't do is wrap because when you, when you turn, I always used to say every, like Newton's law, right? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if you load and plant and turn, that's your action. I've just turned away from where I'm trying to go. The reaction to that, the only thing you can do to get to your point is fly. So it's almost you want to feel here, front side, tricep, shoulder. You can get a little turn here, that's fine. And then it's just flying here. All right, I'm about to return the favor, dude. Please don't be too hard on me. You don't even know what this knuckleball is like. I forgot about more BPs out here than you'll ever know. I'll take what I can get tonight. That's a good one. Oh, how? <laughs> Cobb, I'm sorry. I owe you a bat. My apologies. Not, hey, no, no. Good no. wind up. You just missed yeah, it. Yeah, everything was good. You just got to, you tried to, look. Okay, think of golf. You hit a seven iron. It's lofted a certain way for a reason. You don't have to try to lift it. Same with this. If you attack this ball, go attack the top half to middle of this ball without trying to elevate it, it's going to go up just naturally. Yeah. Ye. As soon as I get in there, yo. He thought, I insulted the man earlier. That's my bad, E. Oh, my bad. Jesus, dead central. But look at the difference in those swings and then off the tee, right? Like, those are smooth. Those are closed front shoulder. Yeah, let them go away. Look, whenever, whenever, like, you give advice or someone gives you advice, Especially if it's something you're struggling with. Like with you, your first few swings, it was all body. Everything was connected, right? Exaggerate it. Like we talked about hands back tonight. Feel like you're pushing your hands. Even if, even if it's a little bit incorrect, you will naturally make adjustments as you miss pitches. And just keep finding that groove. Yeah, it's, I always like to think away. Like away from my body. Yep. Yeah, look at that in the face. Cool. Yes, dude. Yeah, that was money right there. Cobb always uses a good line. Loose shoulders. Loose shoulders. Let them hang when you hit. Hold up. Get in your stance. You're good. Get in your stance. You're just one small thing. Watch. Relax these. Relax. relax. Okay, now go. Now hit. <laughs> there you go. That was it. Seriously. What you just felt right there is that now relax. Drop them. Let that front shoulder rest. 
If you were just standing there. Short. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said you yeah, have on the pitch too. Check it. Check the mic. Hot mic. Hot mic. Think about everything we've worked on. Yes. That's staying closed. Let's go. Good shit, dude. Much better. Fuck yeah, dude. I got you, homie. Appreciate you. No problem. That was moist. <laughs> Thank you. So my adjustment here is probably stay back a little longer, get it up. It's gonna be short. Like that. When it's a gap or go situation in a game, what do you think about? Something I can get extended on, right? Because if I get extended, I at least know the ball is going to be hit hard, right? I'm not looking for something in where I have to change my swing for anything. I want something middle of the plate. Middle, just, just fat, right? It's a fat pitch. And up. I get in trouble when I reach for stuff. And what if you get nothing but inside corner? I'm hoping they miss, right? Most of the time, they're not going to nail inside corner for a strike, right? I mean, some are probably some of the best, but what is that top four, five pitchers in conference? They could probably do that, but most of the time, they're going to miss in, or they're going to miss. I mean, if you think about it, that's a that's I mean that's a ball length. They have to be perfect on that corner. Yeah. It's very rare that they are perfect on that. Oh! Dancing! Good. But keep your hands up. Yeah. Usually when I see people get high pitches and they're trying to, you know, go hard at it, they don't change their swing to go get the ball, hmm. right? They just do their normal hard swing, pop it up, right? You gotta go get the ball. Well, you just gotta make sure your hands are still on top. Yeah. Maybe if, not go get the ball like this, but your hands. Well, but you over. gotta go where it's at. You can't yeah. just swing. No, you can't. So, go Cole, up. what advice would you tell someone about a cut swing? Advice on a cut swing? Cut swing. If you don't have one and you're trying to get one, <clears throat> first thing I would suggest is back way up and hit every ball super low where you're just forced to literally swing down at it because you have to teach your hands to end below the ball, right? And then you work up and up and up and up. It would be really hard for someone that has a natural baseball swing to catch a ball up here and learn how to cut it, right? Yep. Like. Totally different angles. And that's what you'll do for about the first hundred balls is you'll jam it straight into the ground. I mean, it's, it's a high risk swing too, you know. That's a great swing. Hell yeah, you be safe dude. Shoot me a message when you make it home. Yeah, so I know you made it. <laughs> Man, Get thanks for making income. me look good pitching. I appreciate it. That was a real ego boost. I needed that. I just typed in, I'm sorry to Cobb, and it put so wet. <laughs> How many times have you texted so wet to Cobb? I mean, I don't feel like that information needs to be disclosed, but yeah, I get it. He was asking, he said, but then I'm trying to stay back, but then it seems to catch the ball too deep. I get jammed, you know, and it's just, he says, it just feels like a work in progress. And really, man, we've done this, what, this is our third week. And that has been kind of the hot topic is like staying stacked, point of contact, like, and recognizing where the pitch is and what movements you should be making. So just staying stacked, like real simple. Think about it, if at any point, we lose our stack from here to here to our knee. We've altered our swing in so many ways that we're never going to repeat it. So when you're stacked, 
imagine this. I'm going to load, and when I stride down, back shoulder over back hip, back hip over back knee, back knee inside of back foot. And that's just a good, I mean, that's, a, that's an athletic stance is what I would say, right? If you're setting up as a linebacker, your knees inside of your feet, your hips are over your knees, your shoulders are over your hips, we're stacked. We're just trying to be stacked on one leg so we can hold. Hitting with the nation is a community. That's hitting with the nation. So if you're paying attention, you're part of it, help somebody else out. Yeah. Well, another BP is completed. Got to meet some nice new people, Eric and Clayton. If you do want to get better, don't think that you're going to get better playing league once a week. You're not going to get better swinging three times a week. You have to put a little work in. The good thing is, Softball's really fun. So, working on it, it's a good time. Mm -hmm.